Okay. So now it's time for the, your most underreported story of the week. Kelsey? Um, something I, that got surprisingly little play this week um, was the fact that the University of Michigan um, allowed a display to be put up, an art display, basically celebrating abortion as a life-sustaining act. Um, and this, this program that uh, put this display up, put this art display up, uh, actually receives federal funding, um, which is just absolutely ludicrous. Um, and then I suppose when you look at it from the fundamental thing of life-sustaining uh, act, I think abortion is, is far from it, uh, just on the, on the whole. All right, thank you. Eric? May I respond to that? or <laughs> <laughs> Please. Go ahead, well, quick. sure. I would happily offer a defense of abortion and legal abortion as a life-sustaining <laughs> act. We've recently had a case that we worked on at RH Reality Check. My employer, Beatriz, a woman in El Salvador who was being denied a life-saving abortion and uh, very nearly died and had her health severely compromised because abortion was being outlawed. And so I do think that, in fact, abortion can be uh, very much a life-sustaining act, even in not such dire circumstances. And that is something I say with pride.